family, welcome back to another episode of Forever Happy. <laughs> For those of you that are new, my name is Jim, and I'm glad you joined me. Now, we try to post videos twice a week. We've been doing a lot of food stuff. I hope, hope you've been, been enjoying uh, Linda's potatoes, bacon ranch potatoes, her lasagna, her chicken marinara. I am so lucky to be married to such a lovely lady that knows how to fix some wonderful food. And if you want to be notified when we do post new videos, then subscribe, ring that bell, and uh, you'll be notified every time we do one. So today, uh, I am going to share with you my guacamole recipe. So, uh, if you like guacamole <laughs> like I do, then you're gonna wanna write this one down. So let's get started. All right, so to get started, uh, you're gonna wanna get yourself one or two nice fresh limes. I use three Haas avocados, kind of, uh, I guess, kind of fit in your palm of your hand. Not too big, not too small. It's kind of, I don't know, maybe they are kind of on the small side. Uh, but I usually get about three of those, two or three. Um, some onion, which I, I use about a half cup onion. And then I got uh, a couple of jalapenos out of the garden, chopped them up. Uh, usually maybe about one or two depending on how much you like your avocado your jalapenos um, we I really we really like jalapenos so uh, split them open remove the seeds and the veins and then chop them up and then uh, usually a medium-sized tomato and then I'm gonna I have this special uh, garlic parsley and Himalayan salt that I like to use for the seasoning. Um, yeah. Mm. And then uh, sometimes I'll go with the fresh cilantro. However, uh, I never, by the amount of cilantro that you buy, I can never use it all. So I, I went the route of a, of a dried cilantro and it seems to work really good. And I measure out usually about uh, half a teaspoon or a teaspoon, or excuse me, half a tablespoon or a tablespoon of cilantro, just depends on how I'm feeling. And then uh, some cumin. And that adds like a really earthy kind of flavor to it. So uh, I think this is one of the key ingredients right here. All right, so uh, your, your avocados, you want them to be ripe. So if you are unfamiliar with uh, how to tell if the avocado is ripe. When you get, get it, you should be able to just easily press on the outside. And you should be able to just kind of mash it right there in your hand. Um, that tells you that it's ripe and it's ready for use. Uh, if you get them when they're more green, you know, brighter green, then uh, they'll tend to be pretty hard to squeeze and so those are not ready. So if you get those type, you're gonna to have to wait a uh, day or two till they're ripe enough. Uh, I usually ripen mine. You put them inside a paper bag and just let them sit out on the counter and that'll get them to ripen for you. All right, so we'll kind of get started here. I've already, as you can see, I've already kind of cut up our onions and jalapenos and tomatoes and we're going to get started. So uh, I cut my uh, my uh, avocados lengthwise, you know, just a standard way. Just kind of, you got that pit on the inside, just kind of go around. And then, uh, see how it just falls right apart? And then, oh, isn't that beautiful? Look how nice and green that is. Uh, I'll take a spoon, we'll put our bowl right here for us, and uh, just Kind of just remove the skin off of it. And 
there you go it's pretty simple and then you've got the pit in there some people will just take the spoon go around the pit there and you saw how easy that I mean it's just going to come right out and then put the other half here and get it into our bowl Mm. Mm. Avocados are good even without making guacamole. Uh, so let's hit the next one here. Mm. Yeah, these are perfect. Perfect. Yeah, and, and Usually when I'm in the grocery store and I'm get know that I'm gonna make me some guacamole, uh, I, I really am disappointed when you go there and all of the the avocados are not quite ripe yet. Cause that just means can't make it that night. So another way that you can remove. Uh, the, the pit is just put your knife in there right, like magic a little bit easier than with the spoon so there's two ways that you can get the pit out of there for you um, whichever one's simplest for you sometimes it's all about not wanting to chop your set your hand off when you're trying to get the pit out of the avocado. Three perfect avocados. You just can't beat that. You know, so when I was growing up as a kid, what we used to do is cut these bad boys in half and um, leave them in the skin and just uh, take some butter, and, well, take the pit out and get some butter and uh, put some butter in the inside and put it in the oven for a little while and get the butter to melt. I mean, back then, I'm an old fart, man. Back that, back in the day, back then, yeah, there wasn't such a thing as a microwave. So if you wanted to heat something up, it had to be in the oven. And uh, all right, so there we go. There, that's all of our. Tastes so good. And we're gonna just get in here, and give it a good mash, get it all mashed up. Now, you know. People like their avocado a little bit different, you know, their guacamole differently. Some people like it uh, where it's, you almost put a blender to it and uh, get rid of all the chunks. Other people like it real chunky. I'm a, I'm a in-between guy, so I, I, I like to uh, get it where there's still some chunks, some chunkiness, but not, you know, giant chunks and uh, that's one thing I found this little masher here uh, does a good job of doing so we got that mashed up now it's about adding our stuff and uh, keep the spoon that I scooped everything out with because it comes in handy here all right and uh, like I said I got about mm, about half cup of chopped onions Got two jalapenos. You notice I, I use green and red. You know, one of the things that I really like is, uh, you know, to me, color really adds presentation to the food. And, you know, we got all this green in here. That's like a light colored green from the avocado. So this adds some nice dark green. And probably could do it with just green jalapenos. Uh, 
but I got red ones out there in the garden, so I like to do both because your tomatoes are gonna add red as well. I said you got this line here I like to get that damn sticker off of there squeeze squeeze that juice off in there To get about around half a teaspoon. Kind of gives it a little bit of a, a uh, smoky flavor. And I like to get about a tablespoon of this chopped parsley. Or excuse me, not parsley, cilantro. And then, like I said, I, I like this garlic, parsley, Himalayan salt. And I get Three quarters of a teaspoon of that. These little measuring scoops that we have, it you can measure two measurements in it. The outer part, you fill it all the way to the top on this one, it's half a teaspoon. Quarter teaspoon if you just fill the fill that small part in. Alright. Now it's about Getting this all mixed together. Tempting to, to get this and eat it right now, I tell you. Uh, one thing that some people add that I have been known to add every once in a while is some uh, sour cream, um, just a bit and uh, it actually will lighten things up some. So there you have the Forever Happy Family guacamole recipe. And what I like to do now is like the cover it up, put it in the refrigerator, and uh, let it chill for a few hours and then it's ready to go. Well, there you have it. That is the Forever Happy guacamole recipe. And, uh, you know, if you have some things that you like to do, um, maybe some additions, maybe I could try to add some stuff to my guacamole. I know here in New Mexico, green chili is a big thing, uh, but don't have any of that. Definitely going to try it sometime and add some green chili to it. But uh, that pretty much does it for today's video. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you want to be alerted when we make some new videos, uh, just subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you'll get notified as soon as we have another one. And we 
we've come to the end. And you know what that means, right? So it's still COVID out there. There's still, you know, the president has gotten COVID. So you got to stay safe. So stay safe, keep smiling, and be happy.